having not eaten for days, he is hungry and thirsty. But the river is full of dangers. Alone, he's more vulnerable than ever. A hippo more than ten times his weight could cause serious damage. With a little encouragement from the sidelines, he's safely reunited. One of the adolescents is more daring. But even he knows when to back down. Lesson learned. It will take the lioness more than 10 minutes to take on the 20 liters of water she needs. That's 10 minutes too long for the mother hippo. Their eyesight isn't that good, but their sense of smell is amazing. They can kill a lion with a single bite and move surprisingly quickly. Whitehead investigates the potential meal with one of the young males. If they're to bring down a hippo, they'll need the entire Megapride. It's a dangerous undertaking. A hippopotamus can pierce straight through a lion. In a clash between size and numbers, both predator and prey consider their options. Whitehead makes her decision. The hippo tries to flee, but Whitehead has the support of the pride. The lions must knock the hippo off balance and pull it sideways. But the young male doesn't have the strength. Whitehead tries, but the rest of the family hangs back. The females press forward, but the adolescents are listless and uncoordinated, unsure what to do next. The hippo takes advantage of the standoff. Duclaw didn't see it coming. 2,000 pounds of pressure clamped down on her skull.
With the pride still distracted from the vicious attack, the hippo flees. This time, it heads straight for the water. It's a disaster. The pride will go hungry again. Today, the lions are awake at first light. A young male tries to offer Duclaw support, but even a lick is too painful. Duclaw suffers from a brain hemorrhage and a damaged right eye. But she also has a puncture wound under her neck where the hippo's incisor pierced straight through into her mouth. Only rest will bring some relief.